And now we'll have an introduction to polynomials. And here's an example of a polynomial. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. Now the definition of a polynomial is a collection of terms added together. And if any of the terms have exponents, like we see here, the exponents have to be whole numbers. So this polynomial has four terms. And the four terms are x cubed, 2x squared, negative 4x, and 8. Don't forget that this negative sign is part of this term right here. And the terms can be added or subtracted. Just remember that subtraction can always be rewritten as addition. So we could think of this polynomial like this. x cubed plus 2x squared plus negative 4x plus 8. And if you think of all the terms as being added together, then it's clear that this term is negative. In other words, you can just think of it as a negative 4x term being added. Now look at these three examples. All of these are not polynomials, and I'll tell you why. This first one, 3x squared plus 2x to the 1.5 plus 8. See this 1.5 exponent? That's not a whole number. Polynomials can only have whole number exponents. And the same thing happens down here in the second one, 4x cubed minus 3 square root of x. Remember, the square root of x can be written as x to the power of 1 half. A square root is the same thing as an exponent of one half. So this x to the one half right there is a non whole number exponent. And a similar thing happens right down here. 3x to the fifth plus 4x squared plus 5 over x. You can't have a variable in the denominator. Uh, 1 over x, you might remember, is the same as x to the power of negative 1. So this term right here, 5 over x, is the same thing as 5 times x to the negative 1. And negative 1 is not a whole number. Whole numbers are only 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Whole numbers are 0 and all the positive integers. So you can't have a fractional or negative exponent. That violates the definition of a polynomial. These three things are all valid, mathematic, valid mathematical entities. They're just not polynomials according to the definition of a polynomial. Now some other vocabulary you need to know. A term, a term is the product of a number and one or more variables or just a number by itself. So this is a term x cubed and 2x squared is a term and negative 4x is a term and 8 is a term. Another word you should know is the word coefficient. The coefficient is the numerical part of a term. So for example, if we had this polynomial, 3x squared plus 8x minus 5, the coefficients would be 3, 8, and negative 5. They're the numerical part of the term, so just without the variable part, just the numbers. Those are the coefficients. And you should know what a monomial is. Mon, that root there, linguistically, mon means one. A monomial is a polynomial with one term. So for example, 5x squared y, that is a single term. The coefficient is 5. And the variable part is x squared y. So the term has a coefficient and a variable part. A binomial, the root bi means two. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. So for example, 6x squared minus 8x, that's a binomial. And the two terms are 6x squared and negative 8x. Those are the two terms in that binomial. And a binomial, by, de by definition, 
has two terms. A trinomial, you can probably guess, tri means three, a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. And as, as an example, x squared minus 8x plus 15, that's a trinomial. And the three terms are the x squared, the negative 8x, and the 15. And don't forget that the negative sign there is part of the term.